Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish and uh, today I have brought a very interesting video. Uh, in fact, the problem that I present today is not very challenging, it's a rather easy problem but uh, nonetheless I found this uh, very interesting phenomena some days back on uh, Twitter at the physics fun chan channel and I could not resist uh, sharing this problem especially when I also find a very similar problem in Shashibhushan Tiwari. So that's the challenge for today. Uh, that's based on Miroscope. Now before uh, I present to you the challenge, I would like to show you the demonstration and I'm sure all of you will like the demonstration how a Miroscope works. It's really amazing. It felt like magic when I saw it for the first time. So, so be ready for the uh, demonstration. So just let me present to you uh, the demonstration. So I'll just play this uh, video for a while and you'll see. See, uh, all of you can see that here uh, we have a we have an uh, octahedral die. in fact there are two octahedral dice here and uh, let me play the video and you see carefully watch so octahedral dice or uh, is uh, dice are on the left side and uh, there's a regular hexa i mean cube cube shaped dice on the right side and now what happens see <laughs> you can see that uh, now the cube the, the image that you and it's not even a real Im image it looks so real and uh, it looks like an object in 3d but it's actually not uh, something uh, th this that's only an image just watch this again so the playing for the second time you can see the normal dice on the right side and the red dice on the left side and now wow see the white dice comes on the left side and the red die comes on the right hand side so uh, this is I found this very very interesting phenomena and especially when uh, uh, I uh, saw the Shashi Bhushan Tiwari uh, I just felt like I just could not resist making a video on this one and I just wanted to share my excitement about the Miroscope with you. So now let me get into the problem. So let me just pause this and let's see the um, uh, video. Okay, uh, uh, let's see the problem. Okay, so now let me go to the problem statement. Okay. In fact, uh, I posted this in the community post and I also made some modifications because uh, it turns out that with the language in the community post, there are two possible solutions as Mihir pointed out. I've also presented the other possibility that uh, Mihir had given in his answer. So uh, let's see the challenge and the ray diagram. In fact, uh, the ray diagram makes it very, very easy uh, uh, for guessing the solution. Okay, so here's the uh, challenge. Okay. So in a mirror scope, two concave lenses of equal focal length are placed as shown in the figure such that same sized laterally inverted image of a small toy placed on the lower mirror is formed at the cavity in the upper mirror. So I have placed a toy over here and here I am getting the same sized image. I mean the figure is not uh, proper here you are seeing it's kind of magnified but uh, you get the same size image in the cavity okay in the upper mirror. If the separation between the shown image and the object is h, what is the focal length of the mirror? So this vertical separation is given to be h and we have to tell that uh, uh, what is the uh, this thing, uh, the separation between the, uh, I mean this is h, so what is the focal length of each mirror? Given that mirrors are uh, having identical focal lengths, okay? And uh, uh, in fact, literally inverted is not the proper word. In fact, it is uh, radially inverted. That is. Uh, every uh, every point is getting inverted by 180 degrees so you can say radially inverted image is being formed okay so that will be a better word to ex explain what's going on so it's a radially inverted image okay so uh, if you want you can give it a try and i'll present my analysis uh, straight away it's a very simple uh, problem see uh, in fact the ray diagram is a giveaway ray diagram throws the through i mean this throwaway problem see if you see the ray diagram here so the ray going on the upper mirror is becoming parallel right it's going parallel to the principal axis of the upper mirror so what can you say from this ray diagram from this ray diagram you can easily guess that this must be the uh, fo focal length of the uh, upper mirror and that straight away gives you that this height must be equal to the focal length uh, and then uh, uh, but we also need to verify that it should be same sized image and all those things. So th those things I'll explain. So what's happening here, uh, this is the frog over here and uh, then uh, then the rays are, since this is at the focus, so this, these, uh, this image will be formed at infinity, right? Because of the first reflection from the upper mirror, okay? And then that image will serve as the uh, object for the lower mirror. And then this image will be formed on the focus of the lower mirror. So. Uh, here the final image will be formed if the, we have a small toy over here a small image will be formed over there 
and you can see whatever is this angle and this it will be going at the same angle so so now see very carefully so look at the what is happening to the ray that started from the right hand side of the frog so ray which is starting from the right hand side of the frog it goes here goes here and it uh, goes to the left you can see the ray which started from the right hand side is going to the left and similarly a ray which is going from the left hand side it is going to the right so you can see that there is a swapping of the rays so the ray swapping is happening not only in this direction but also in i mean uh, 180 degree opposite so you can see that if there's a cone of rays this cone of rays is getting exactly inverted so what is going to the right is finally going to the left what is going into the page is finally coming out of the page and so on so that's what i meant by radially radial inversion okay radially inverted image okay so that's what i've written so from the figure it is evident that the rays become parallel on reflection from top mirror and these must be focused upon reflection from the lower mirror at the focus of the lower mirror so separation between the mirrors must be equal to f and therefore focal length if you want the sine value it becomes minus h otherwise if you just want the magnitude the focal length magnitude is h okay now i also need to justify why is the magnification one in this case so you might be aware of newton's uh, formula for finding the magnification in case of lenses and mirrors so what is the magnification so if you have the object distance from the focus then the magnification is simply focal length divided by the distance of the object from the focus or if you have the image distance from the focus then magnification is simply image distance from the focus divided by the focal length okay so this is the standard result that you learn when you learn the newton's formula for lenses or mirrors okay here x and y are respectively the object and image distances from the focal okay so now what happens see in our case when the intermediate image is formed at in very large distance let us say uh, i don't want to deal with infinity so let's call the large distances l but know that that l is uh, same for almost almost same for uh, the upper mirror as well as the lower mirror for example suppose their focal length is of the order of meters and let us say l is one light year let us say just for argument's sake then you can say that this l is equidistant from the focus of the upper mirror as well as the focus of the lower mirror okay so uh, let us say so that is the intermediate image okay so image formed by the upper mirror is formed l distance here and this is serving as object for the lower mirror so what is the magnification for the upper mirror so for the upper mirror we use the f by x formula uh, right so uh, uh, um, rather uh, sorry we use the y by f formula see uh, if the image is at y then uh, magnification is y by f so for the upper mirror the image is formed at l so first magnification from the top mirror is l by f right where l is a very very large number similarly now for the lower mirror this l is serving as object distance right so um, i can write f by x magnification can also be written as f by x so in our case it becomes f by l and if you multiply the two magnifications it must be coming out to be one right so i'm worried only about the magnitude of magnification right so i hope it is clear why the image is radially inverted and also uh, it is uh, the magnification is one okay now uh, it turns out that if we remove the uh, remove the condition of literally inverted uh, image then there is one more possibility as uh, pointed out by mihir in his solution on the community post so so see uh, what was his uh, line of thinking that i'm presenting here it can be easily observed that our objective can be achieved with the intermediate image is equidistant from both mirrors so because you see mirror formula is symmetric 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f it is symmetric in v and u so therefore if the intermediate image is formed here and the initial object is here then final image must be over there okay so that's what he guessed and it's perfectly correct so uh, our objective can be achieved with the intermediate image is equidistant from both the mirrors so one possibility was choosing the intermediate image at infinity because infinity is equidistant from both and the other possibility is to choose the intermediate at exact midpoint of the mirror so we can also choose the uh, uh, image at the exact midpoint okay so now uh, if you choose the intermediate image over here then again you can use the mirror formula and uh, if you do just one by v from i mean for the reflection from the upper mirror if you just use 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f then you get f is equal to minus h by 3 so that is also a valid solution and it uh, i'll show you that uh, this doesn't produce a radially inverted image rather it produces the same uh, kind of image it just uh, transfers the uh, frog from bottom to top okay so how does that happen see 
for example from this oh let us say one ray is going to the left then it gets reflected from the top mirror and it passes to the midpoint because we want the intermediate image here and this ray goes over here and then this ray gets reflected from the lower mirror and it must going be going in that direction so the ray which was going towards left is again after two reflections going towards left there is no radial inversion of the rays so this is also one possibility of mirror scope but somehow uh, i do not see uh, most of the mirror scopes that i come, came across not most almost all the mirror scopes i am i don't i have not done an exhaustive search but uh, uh, all the mirror scopes that i found on the internet were based on the first model okay so that uh, uh, that is uh, this this case this this was the diagram given for most of the mirror scopes uh, that that were available on the internet okay and uh, i hope uh, you enjoyed this video and uh, you also uh, uh, i mean were uh, uh, amazed by the kind of uh, graphics that you have let me play it just once more it, it was so beautiful so yeah, this mirror scope i'll play just once more see it was uh, so beautiful let me start from the start yeah see uh, white one on the right and red one on the left and you place the lid and the white one comes to the left and the red one comes to the right isn't that so amazing okay so that's so fascinating that i just had to make a video on this one so i hope you enjoyed the presentation as much as i enjoyed making this one and if you enjoyed this presentation please do give it a thumbs up and please share this video as much as possible with your uh, friends through whatsapp telegram uh, or uh, uh, discord or whatever medium you use for networking with your fellow students and uh, uh, if you and yes uh, if, most importantly if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe uh, because that's what keeps me motivated to do a new video every day and uh, Thanks a lot for watching this, this video and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you.